What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between the Google Nexus 5 and the iPhone 5S. So we'll start off with a boot test and then we'll look at some benchmarks on Geekbench 3, followed by some standard app tests, so we'll be doing some browser tests and just testing out some popular apps as well to see the differences in speed. So getting straight to it with a boot test, switching both of these devices on at the same time. And what we'll do is we'll just quickly uh, speed this process up a little bit so we don't have to bore you too long with this. But roughly after about 22 seconds, the Nexus 5 booted up, followed very slightly after by the iPhone 5S, just about a second after. So nothing really in it, uh, one second of difference between boot up times. Now the benchmark scores are something that a lot of people do like to see. So Geekbench 3 on both of these, running them both at the same time. Now the iPhone 5S did complete the benchmark quicker. So it was roughly done within about 34 seconds, I'd say. The Nexus 5 followed in at roughly about 55 seconds. Now, although the iPhone 5S has a higher single core score, because it only has a dual core processor compared to the quad core processor of the Google Nexus 5, the overall multi-core score of the Google Nexus 5 did come out higher. Not massively, but it definitely is higher compared to the iPhone 5S. Now doing a browser test, so we're using Safari on the iPhone 5S and Google Chrome on the uh, Google Nexus 5, mainly because uh, they are the native browser apps on both of these to make them fair as possible. The Verge website did load up slightly faster on the Google Nexus 5 compared to the iPhone 5S, literally a split second, so nothing really to it. Now going on to the full website, the full Verge website, which is quite heavy, so opening them both at the same time. The iPhone 5S did load it up ever so slightly quicker, just a split second once again, a finished loading. If you look at the blue bar at the top, you'll see that the Nexus 5 came in slightly after. Going into an article, you'll see that we start seeing the content first on the Nexus 5, but the page did finish loading a split second quicker on the iPhone 5S. In terms of performance on the actual page, scrolling up and down, zooming in and out, absolutely fine and barely anything between them. Now testing out a popular app, so Instagram is a popular app that we're both trying here, so opening them up at the same time. Load it up ever so slightly quicker on the iPhone 5S. Once you're in, again, a very, very minimal difference, a split second, the iPhone 5S did open it up a split second faster. And finally, opening up a game, so Temple Run 2 was a game that I could find on both app stores, so running them both at the same time. They pretty much started at the same time. I think the iPhone 5S, once again, a split second quicker compared to the Google Nexus 5. So there we go, uh, the speed difference between the Google Nexus 5 and the iPhone 5S. Very, very minimal. There's nothing really to it. Uh, some things the uh, Google Nexus 5 was better at, some things the iPhone 5S was better at. So I'm gonna call it a draw. I'd say they're pretty even in terms of speed. You're not gonna have any problems whatsoever in terms of speed with both of these devices. They are both powerhouses and definitely on the top of the line right now in terms of speed and performance. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. If you wanna see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you wanna see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you wanna stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below.